Met Spring Water, we're talking about winter containers. Take it away, Sherry! Okay, we, I'm gonna show you how to do a winter container. So, one, you don't have to haul the pot inside, or you don't have to ask your husband to do it. Easiest way to start is just to cut everything off and don't empty it out, and then you can use the root ball that's in there to um, hold the plant or hold the greens. If you have already done that, the easiest thing to do is we're using mums left over from fall, and we're just going to drop that down in there so we have a basis to to hold the greens. The other thing you can do if you use loose dirt, now that it's starting to get cold, once you get your greens put in the loose dirt, if you'll water them in tonight, they'll freeze and that'll also help hold them. Hmm. Okay, we're going to start with something tall in the middle, and I like it to be about um, two-thirds to half this height. I think it makes a nice, that makes a nice size differential. And then we're just going to add some different greens in here. What are those greens? Fraser fir, white pine, there's some arborvita, spruce, a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Now I noticed that these are pre-cut. Is, can people buy them like that or? Yeah, you can buy greens at any nursery. Um, we carry them here. We treat ours. I think that, um, and we're a little bit more aware of where ours are coming from. What do you we treat try, them we for? Try to, we treat them so that they'll last, because they are cut, they will dry out. So mm. we leave ours outside or in a cooler um, where it's cool. We also will treat them with wilt proof, which helps them hold better in case we get some warmer weather. And we, and we get ours shipped in regularly, so it's not like we have something that's been sitting here all for the last three or four weeks. And we have had some hot weather, so. And then once I kind of get this, okay, and if you notice this one here is kind of floppy, mm -hmm. that's because he's not really in that root, that root ball. So if I put him in the root ball, turn him a little bit. Sometimes you have to do a little maneuvering on him. Every time you cut something, it smells so good. Yeah, like that's the, the one. That's the one nice thing about it. I like to do a small arrangement in the house, just because I like the smell. Or mm -hmm. even use you can use the roping in the house also. But I like this. And then I like to take the next group and just kind of lay them forward. And I'm kind of making kind of like a nest because we're going to use mm. this to put our pretty either pine cones or I've got a couple different things we can. Show you. And you can use it too to kind of, like if you've got a color theme, you can go as natural as you want. You could use pine cones. You could use, if you didn't want could to you use, natural, you could use ornaments. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. If you, do you ever use anything that's permanent, like artificial or? Yes. We, we've got some, I've got some different ornaments too. We can I think sometimes you have to use that because it's hard to get. And you can also use berries. Mmm. That's so pretty. And you can come in at any time and somebody here can help you um, gather what you need. If you want to take it home, you can bring it in here and we'll show you how to do it yourself at home. Or you can bring them in here and we'll do them for you. But I like it if you don't get real Christmassy, if you don't get t carried away with ornaments, then it'll you can leave it out January, February, or you can do ornaments now and just switch mm -hmm. it out. Um, I'm kind of into this whole I don't know stick thing right now, so I like to use the sticks to give us a little extra height in the back. And because this is a tall pot, we can kind of adjust the height. Now these may be, and if you mm -hmm. notice, it's a little bare here, so I'm going to put this on the back side. We don't have to do the whole thing. And then you can kind of adjust knife. They don't have to all be at the same angle. Kind of use them for a little depth and height. Um, and I don't even mind cutting them sometimes in two. Ooh, yeah, that's Just pretty. Just giving it a little bit smaller. I think it kind of, I don't know, a Missouri Zen feel. I like that. 
this this is just a red berry ball, so you can wire that in like that. Just use a pine cone. Mm. Something like that. I have the little natural lines that you can do. Probably my favorite is the pine cones. I like the pine cones. I also like to use the sugar cones. Ooh. Okay, so you can wire one in here. What? Yeah. Oh, Those are huge. Yeah. I'm going to turn around so I can Okay. And he made, that pine cone's probably just a little too large for that particular, so. Bear with me a minute. Okay, now, I've kind of done it backwards because I've been standing on the back side, so if you notice, I probably need to fill some more in. So you can do the pine cones like that, and then I also like to use, we kind of love this mesh ribbon this year. Um, I like to take it and just make a little loop, easy color, comes in, a, it's 21 inches wide, this is some I've split and just had laying around here. The same thing with it, you just need to put it on a wire stick, in this case we're kind of short on wires in my hand, so I'm just going to wire it to a piece of wood I got laying here, a piece of the green left over. Need something that can stick. That's pretty. There again, you have to kind of watch it. And now you're just filling in with yeah, the I'm other. Yeah, I'm fill in because I think he looks a little bare in some spots. Another way too, I'll show you a little trick also here real quick. I have some garland here, I'm sure. You get the garland in a, it's in a form like this. And a lot of times you can, if you don't, if you don't want to have to put all of that around, I like to take it Ooh. and lay this in the top. Also, will help give you a little more added prettiness to it and a little fuller. And it raises that top up just a little bit. Mm. And then I usually just either pin it or make sure it fits on the inside of the pot. But see how it's raised this up and gave it a little bit more lift to it? It's just kind of what you like and how full you want it. I saw one yesterday where the lady had just taken a big tub and just like took an armful and just dumped it in the top and she was worried about it but I thought it looked great and she liked it. And the same Sherry, thing, do you have to water these? Um, you can water them. If we were to get really hot it probably wouldn't hurt to give it some water but with the wilt proof that's why we do that because it just helps um, it helps the moisture level and helps them last longer. How long should it last? I think these will easily last probably 45, maybe 60 days, depending on how cold it is here and just the weather we're having. So. I think last year we, we got some greens in really early and we treated them and the ones that we didn't treat lasted almost to Christmas. The ones that we did treat we probably could have left through January. So, and there again, I think if you wanted to add more greens, you could. This one's a little rough in the back, but I could clean it up and it'll be fine. So, that's just something we can use red. I also have um, the curly sticks. Now, here's the trick to these curly sticks. If you notice, they're orange on the bottom. Uh, they were Halloween sticks that we just recycled. These are for a customer of ours, but so you could add a little white in there. Mm. Gold spray paint, and I also did some in limey green that were really cool. So you can you can change the color to kind of fit your color theme on your porch or take it into the house that way. Thanks. Love y'all. Come see us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.